Hi everyone, um, this is a video for Math 3273 and here we want to see why um, if we have a positive semi-definite matrix um, how do we take its square root? Okay, okay so here um, so we have a, either Hermitian if it has complex entries or a symmetric matrix if it has real entries and um, suppose that A is a positive semi-definite matrix. Okay, so all its eigenvalues are non-negative. Then this, then there exists a semi-definite, a positive semi-definite matrix B, such that B squared equals A. Okay. So. So basically, um, you know, the proof is similar if it's Hermitian or um, or, or symmetric. So let, either way, write A equals either U D U star where U is unitary or A equals Q D Q transpose where Q is orthogonal. And D is just the um, diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues on the diagonal. And all the eigenvalues are um, greater than or equal to zero. And we just define d to the one half to be um, the matrix with square root of the eigenvalues on the diagonal. Okay. Um, if you want, you can prove. I mean, I didn't do this in this video, but if you want, you can prove that um, d to the one half here is a unique positive semi-definite matrix whose square is d. Okay. And that is actually related to showing that B, the square root of A, is unique. But um, we didn't. We I won't be doing that. Anyways, so just notice that D D to the one half squared is um is D back, right? Okay. And now we're just going to take B to be well in the Hermitian case either U D to the one half times U star or B is going to be Q, D to the one half Q transpose in the symmetric case. Okay. And now we just want to compute um, B squared. And B squared is U, D to the one half U star U, D to the one half U star. U star U is the identity, so we have U, D to the one half, D to the one half U star. D to the one half squared is just D, so we have U, D star U or sorry, u, d, u star, which is a. So b squared equals a. Um, proving that um, b is unique is uh, more involved, but um, I wanted to tell you some of the ingredient, ingredients, but um, it's kind of things we haven't really looked at too much. Okay, so to prove uniqueness, we need um, to do something called the Lagrange interpolation to write our square root as a polynomial in A. Okay, and this is not a trick. Imagine that if I wanted to write um, the square root of lambda 1 as a polynomial in lambda, what the polynomial I would choose would be x minus lambda 1 plus square root lambda 1. Now, um, now if I plug in lambda 1, I get square root of lambda 1. That's that's all I mean. Okay. So there's no... Um, so this is my... If I call this P of X, then P of lambda 1 equals root lambda 1. That's all we're trying to do except for a matrix. Okay, anyways, um, the other ingredient you need to prove this uniqueness is um, that if B and C are both normal matrices that commute, so BC equals CB, then there is a unitary matrix U which diagonalizes both B and C simultaneously. Okay, and then the proof of this kind of thing uses um, kind of like stuff with t-invariant subspaces. So if we have um, 
let's suppose we're in this situation um, that v, uh, we have a linear operator from V to V and we have a T invariant subspace W then it turns out that W contains an eigenvector of T and using this you can show that if S and T are commuting operators and lambda is an eigenvalue of S then um, then kernel of S minus lambda is non-zero and, and you can show that kernel of S minus lambda is a T invariant subspace which allows you to find an eigenvector for t in the kernel of s minus lambda that will be also be an eigenvector for s as well and then you can use this to build up um, a matrix u which diagonalizes both b and c